If you've ever built a RAG AI agent inside NNN, chances are you've run into this issue trying to figure out which embedding model to use or what is the right chunking strategy when it comes to your documents that you're uploading to a vector database. And this process is extremely important because if you choose the wrong embedding model or the wrong chunking size, chances are you're not going to get very accurate results. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use vectorize.io, which is this really cool platform for free that you can use this drag evaluation that will completely take that guesswork out of that process, meaning that you will upload your documentation to this RAG evaluation section. And this will tell you exactly which embedding model to use. And then also what will be the correct chunking size for your particular documents. So that way you're getting the most accurate results when it comes to search. Again, if you're not familiar with any of these platforms, I'm going to go through and walk through step by step. So that way you know exactly what to do and how to get this done. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so I'm in my blank Anidan workflow. So first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to bring in this uh, rag AI agent or the first step of a rag AI agent, which means inserting document into a vector database. In my case, I'm going to use pinecone. So I'm just going to head over to my school community and I'm going to go over to my deep dive topics here. So I did an entire deep dive topics about vector databases, which vector database to use for what purpose. So make sure you check it out inside the school community when you get a chance, if you want to learn more about how vector databases work. But anyway, so I'm going to grab this template right here. I'm just going to download this and bring it over to my NADN workflow. So that way you can see exactly. Let me grab this and there you go. All right. So this is essentially the first step uh, of building a RAG AI agent inside NADN, meaning that you need to be able to upload your documentation inside a vector database. Now, obviously, NADN has multiple integration with multiple vector databases. So, for example, it has, let me just search vector databases. There you go. In the bottom, as you can see, these are all the vector stores that it has uh, uh, integration with, like Quadrant Vector Database, Pinecone, Superbase, and, and others as well. We're going to utilize Pinecone because Pinecone is the most popular vector database when it comes to uh, enterprise or large accounts as well. But this has a really good cloud version and it has a free version that you can sign up for. Anyway, so usually the way we uh, upload our documentation into a vector database is we can use a source like a google drive or whatever it may be where we're downloading this and uploading into our vector database inside our pinecone here but the most important part about this is this default data loader right because we need to be able to identify uh, the chunking strategy because we need to split these documents, especially if you have unstructured data or if you have multiple documents that are bigger size, you want to be able to figure out, okay, what is the right uh, chunking size? Meaning every time you vectorize a set of documents, it needs to be converted into byte size uh, data. So that way it's processed accurately. So a lot of times, again, I get this question all the time inside my school community when we're having discussions about vector databases. So now that's why, again, I was doing a lot of research to make sure I find out the best solution. And like I said, this platform that I'm going to walk through is the best solution by far. But anyways, so as an introduction, you can see the chunk size here, 500 and chunks, chunk overlap is 50. A lot of times people ask, well, why are we choosing this? Uh, I'm not getting the proper results. So this is what we're going to evaluate, right? And then also, obviously, you need an embedding model. A lot of times, you know, you're using open AI, but there's other options there as well that you can utilize. So this is what we're going to essentially talk about. So now that you kind of have an understanding of why this use case is relevant inside NNN or inside building RAG AI agents. Now let's switch over to this platform called vectorize.io. Again, you can uh, go and create a free account. They give you up to 1500 pages of documents to evaluate, which is plenty when it comes to um, at least when you're building this for your own personal use case. And obviously, if you're using this for clients or customers or for your own company, then you can upgrade to other levels. But anyways, the free uh, is plenty for you to start evaluating this thing. All right. So once you come to platform.vectorize.io, let me actually go to platform .io. you will set up a account. And once you set up an account, you will essentially come to this exact page, you're going to come on the left hand side, and you're going to click on rag evaluation here. 
So what this does is, again, on the top it says, rag evaluations allow you to better understand the embedding models and chunking strategies that will produce the most relevant, accurate results for your vector indexes, right? Exactly what we talked about uh, earlier. You want to make sure that you're understanding, depending on what type of documents or what type of data you're uploading, you're, collect, you're um, selecting the proper embedding model and then also the proper chunking strategies. So the easiest way to do this is you're just going to click on new rag evaluation, and this is where you can actually upload your documentation or whatever data that you have that you want to do this rag evaluation on. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my, I downloaded a bunch of these um, white papers for crypto white papers, right? So Ethereum white paper and Solana white paper, and then also this Fidelity uh, Bitcoin. So let me actually open this up so that way you can see what this is. This is a really cool report that Fidelity made. Again, you can see that this uh, document is pretty robust, meaning that it has charts, it has uh, pictures, it has these different um, images and these different visuals that are not just text. So therefore, and same thing, it has uh, tables and everything. So this is not a just simple text document, right? Therefore, we need to have a proper embedding model that can retrieve all of the information that's necessary from a document as complex as this that includes images and visuals and text and everything else, right? So therefore, you can see we have this, uh, this PDF document and then whoop, I just closed it. And then also the Ethereum FD and then the Solana white paper. So we have multiple different types of documents that we can evaluate. So therefore, all I have to do is just kind of grab this and bring it over here. So now this is going to upload all of that, uh, those different documentation in the bottom, as you can see, everything gets uploaded. So I'm just going to do a test. Val. Okay. So once you up uploaded your documentation, you're going to select the vectorization strategy. Again, you can select this default where it's just going to have four vectorization strat strategies using these uh, four different models, or you can customize this, right? So if you click on custom, now we can identify exactly the different parameters that we want to set. So that way we can compare everything together and find out the best possible solution for our use case. So you're going to have to select a, sele a vector database. Again, just select pinecone. Uh, but they have other options there as well. So you're going to leave everything as it is. I'm going to click on next here. So now this is going to give you this option to configure the RAV, RAG evaluation criteria, right? So there's several, obviously it's going to open up four different um, strategies with different um, embedding models and different chunking sizes that we can customize ourselves, right? So for example, the first one is just automatically selecting this OpenAI ADA V2. And again, for those of you who have used embedding models, if we go back inside NADN, so these are the different models that are available for OpenAI. So they have the embedding three large, the small, and the ADA 2 as you can see. And again, this comes uh, native to OpenAI. So in this particular platform, same thing, you have options to all those three different models that are within OpenAI, but it also has Voyage AI, and then also Mistral M5 um, small. So again, you can select whatever you want to uh, choose. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now we can move around the chunk size. So for example, if you want to evaluate for this particular document, you're like, hey, I want to try different chunk sizes to see which one is going to be the best as far as which one is going to give me the best results, right? So this is where you can add those parameters. Same thing as far as uh, you can add additional parameters. So this will just tell you how many chunks to return and the chunking strategy, whether you want to use paragraph, fixed or sentence or whatever it may be. And then also uh, the chunking strategy when it comes to the models here. So they have several models here. The fast one, if you use the fast, this is just very simple and fast extractor, as it says. Vectorize Iris, this is their fine tuned model for advanced extraction because it has it has the ability to because it's a vision model. So therefore, it's really good at if you have a document or a bunch of documents that has a lot of pictures and images and uh, figures that it needs to properly understand, then this vectorize or this iris is the best model to go with. However, it is a bit more expensive. Uh, so if you're using this for obviously production, then you would go and use this. And again, I'm planning to do more tutorials because this is a really cool product as well. But you can choose this mixed one, which is basically uh, kind of like the combination of fast extractor for the text document and then iris for media. So same thing, you can uh, play around with these different chunking overlaps and then uh, the different models. So for example, I'm just going to leave everything as it is, maybe just change a few chunking size. So for this one, uh, I did 11. Actually, you know what, let's just bring this down to let's say 
843. We're going to leave this one at 500, maybe the small, maybe move this up. And then, yeah, everything else we can leave the same. Again, feel free to play around because this is essentially giving you the option to compare these different uh, evaluations together. So once you're done, I'm going to click on start rag evaluation. And this is going to now create that rag evaluation. It's going to process all that information um, and then give us a uh, winner essentially or it's going to tell us what exactly to use so what it's doing right now it says generating questions right so it says once your documents are chunked we will identify categories so what it's doing is it's going to generate questions that it's going from the documents right from our own documents that we uploaded and it's going to compare these different models with these questions that it's going to ask to see which one gives the best results and based on that it will actually tell you the the proper um, embedding model to use or the best one out of the four that you compared yourself and as you can see right here it got evaluated and based on this evaluation it says that this open ai v3 large with the chunking size 500 to 50 overlap is the best possible one to use so there you go right this kind of again takes that guesswork out of this process completely and as you can see in the bottom this actually sh shows you which different questions it uh, generated or evaluated so it says what role, what role does the leader play in the proof of history generation or what is the design of a proof replication utilized and all of this again is coming in from our blockchain and uh, smart contracts and the uh, white paper that we uploaded right so it's actually asking it it's it's asking this model or this evaluation uh, questions that a user or a normal user would ask this rag ai agent right um, for instance so that's what it's doing it's testing all of that so now there you go it said that this is the clear winner so it has the highest score meaning that it has the highest score when it comes to recall and then again we don't have to worry about this at this point but just know that based on these evaluation criteria that we said this is the one that we're going to use so now that we have this information we can go back and based on this we can select all right so let me go back what was it here it was this open ai v3 large right so now if i go back I can select this V3 large with the chunking size of 500 and to 50, right? So same thing. Now we're going to go back and here we're going to say 500 to 50, right? So that's exactly how you can, I mean, obviously my documents weren't that long. I think each of them were like 20 pages or something like that. But you can imagine if you have, uh, you know, a lot of documents or you have documents that have several gigabytes, then you want to be able to not not guess the chunking size or you don't want to guess the exact model that you want to use that's why tools like this is so great because now it kind of takes that guesswork and it will give you the best results when it comes to vector search right and again the reason why i made this video is because i get this question all the time asked during this in my school community so that's why and also in the youtube comments as well so that's why i just wanted to make sure that you guys understand that there's now tools out there and again i will plan to do more uh tutorials on rag ai agents and um, how to properly build these different processes because again this industry is going to be huge in the future because in the future essentially all companies are all industries we need to evaluate and put some kind of a rag in their system in order to make their processes more and more efficient all right well hopefully you found this video helpful thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and like the video